Yo what up guys I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel. In this video we're going to be talking about some of the best tractions that you can get right now. And there's been a lot of shoes with very very good traction so this list is quite long and all of these are pretty much top tier and you can't go wrong with traction. And as you guys know traction in my opinion is the most important aspect or category in a basketball shoe. Like traction if it's bad it's bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I feel like most people don't want to be sliding around when they're playing basketball. I mean, I feel like, you know, traction is more important to some people than others. But to be honest, I still feel like it's very important to most people that play basketball because like if you have bad traction, you're just sliding around, then you kind of like can't play. <laughs> you know what I mean? But as far as like cushion goes or like fit and stuff like that, it's a little bit more subjective. But traction, if it's bad, it's bad. And if it's good, it's good. You know what I mean? But anyways, if you guys want to get any of these shoes, I'll try to leave a link in the description box. But let's get it started off with the Nike KD14. And the KD14 has freaking amazing traction. And the spaces in between the grooves are pretty large. So that's probably why it doesn't pick up a lot of dust or dirt or debris or anything like that. But on a clean court, you have a phenomenal bite, super hard. And also on dust, you're gonna be good to go as well. It doesn't really pick up any dust either. And as for durability, the KD14 should be pretty good too. So the KD14 is top tier traction. All right, next we got the Nike Kyrie 7 or the Kyrie Low 4. They're using the same exact traction pattern as well as the same exact rubber compound as well because sometimes you know companies they reuse the same pattern right but you know uh, they can change up the rubber compound i tested both of them out and they're both phenomenal traction patterns i mean on a clean court you're going to be good to go really really good traction phenomenal bite and also on dust you're really not going to have any issues with it it's just going to bite through that dust it also has a nice high pitch squeak as well and you have a little bit of alto curvature it's nothing crazy like in the old school Kyrie's like in the you know the Kyrie 2 the 3 and, and even the 4 but it still has a little bit of that curvature which is nice but the bad thing about it is that the durability is absolutely terrible so I played with the Kyrie 7 on outdoor court and it just I, I ran through that really really quickly so um yeah don't play outdoors ever at all uh, on the indoor court though i really had no issues with the uh, traction like fraying or anything like that it was just on an outdoor court so just watch out for that all right next we got the nike gt cut and uh, the gt cut is also phenomenal it has a really good and very hard bite on the clean court also super loud you know it has a very high pitched and loud squeak and also on dust very minimal dust pickup and even if it does pick up dust it's a very light wipe so on a clean or a dusty setting you're going to be good to go as far as outdoor use i did not play outdoors in the gt cut but as far as the actual rubber goes it feels pretty hard the grooves are thick and you have a lot more grooves in the highway areas of the outsole so i feel like durability should be okay i mean it's like 170 or 175 dollars shoes so I think you probably wouldn't want to play with it outdoors since it's so expensive. But anyways, I mean, it should be okay uh, for outdoor use. All right, next is the Air Jordan 36. Uh, I'm still testing it out, uh, but so far it's freaking phenomenal. The traction on a clean court is really, really good. It does pick up a little bit more dust than the, uh, the shoes that I just mentioned, but it's a very easy and very light wipe as well. So it's gonna pick up dust uh, like a little bit quicker than the other shoes that I just mentioned, but still very light wipe. You should be good to go on a dusty setting. Uh, durability, durability seems good as well. The Jordan 35 on the other hand was very bad. Super thin rubber, very soft as well. I even played outdoors and uh, durability on the 35 was bad, but the 36, the rubber groove seems thicker and also the rubber seems harder. So I feel like durability is going to be uh, better than 35. You know, I'm not playing outdoors in the 36, so just take that with a grain of salt, but I feel like it should be okay for durability. All right, next is the Nike Giannis Immortality and this shoot surprisingly bites really really hard i don't know what they did with the rubber compound or it's just like herringbone but i mean it's the rubber compound you know and it bites really hard and you have a very very fast stop also on dust you have really no issues with it i mean i was biting through dust very well uh never really had to wipe either on a dusty setting maybe just a little bit but it was a very very easy and very light wipe and as far as durability goes it seems pretty good for durability as well and it's a super cheap shoe it's only 80 dollars so I mean, an $80 shoe on the top tier list, like a traction, uh, this shoe is amazing. So the Giannis Immortality, go ahead and check it out. Next, we got the Under Armour or Curry brand, Curry 8. And this shoe, as you guys all know, is freaking amazing. I mean, it has the best stop I've ever 
stripe, you know what I mean? It, it almost stops too hard, you know, sometimes I feel it and it stops too hard and it hurts my foot, it hurts my ankle a little bit. I'm like, damn, <laughs> it, it stopped too hard, man, you know? But um, yeah, it has a phenomenal stop on a clean court. On a really dusty setting or a really dirty setting, it should still be fine. It picks up a little bit of dust, you know, just a tiny bit, but you still have a really, really good bite, you know? <laughs> it's still top tier with the bite on a dusty setting. And uh, it's a really easy and very soft wipe. You literally just go and you're good to go and you have really good stops again. So on a dusty court or on a clean court, it has a phenomenal stop. And uh, I also played outdoors with the Curry 8 and it was still pretty good. You know, not the best, but you know, I really didn't have any type of wear and tear like the Kyrie 7 or the Jordan 35, which is pretty crazy. And same thing goes with the Under Armour Flow Future X. You know, it uses pretty much the same exact like tooling, you know, the cushion and the outsole and it's just as good as the Curry 8. And I mean, Under Armour is pretty much killing with that. All right, next we got the Puma Clyde All Pro. Phenomenal traction, really, really good bite on the clean court, on the dusty setting. Also, not a whole lot of dust pickup either. And uh, durability, it should be okay. You know, I did play outdoors with the Puma Clyde All Pro and um, durability wasn't the best, but also wasn't terrible. So it should be okay, but I wouldn't recommend it for like long-term outdoor use. And last but not least, we got the Leaning Wow All City 9 or the All City 9 V2. It pretty much uses the same exact cushion and also the same exact outsole in both of the shoes. And the stop is really, really good. You know, it has a very high pitch and very loud squeak. So on a clean court, you're gonna be good to go. Dust though, I would say it picks up a little bit more dust than all of the other shoes on this list, but still really good. But when it picks up dust, it's just a really easy and very light wipe. So uh, dust wasn't a huge issue. I mean, if you're a hooper, you know, you're used to wiping your shoes, right? So that shouldn't really be a problem. And as far as outdoor use goes, you should be fine. It's actually designed for outdoor use. Leaning, Anta, and all the Chinese companies, they engineer their outsoles for outdoor use for better durability as opposed to like, you know, Nike and Under Armour and Adidas. So uh, you should be fine for all surfaces. But anyways, uh, that's my list for best tractions that you can get right now. Again, if you guys want to copy any of these shoes, I'll try to leave a link in the description box, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.